the action-centred leadership model. The first official leadership theory I was taught was the action-centred leadership model. It is actually a very practical tool and it was massively helpful to me in my early years as a leader. As it is a simple, effective and easy to apply model, I continue to recommend it, particularly to new leaders. The action-centred leadership model was developed by John Adair, who taught military leadership at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. The action-centred leadership style is about balancing the needs of three core management responsibilities. These are the task, achieving the defined goal or mission, the team, managing the defined group selected to achieve the task, and the individual, making sure that the needs of each person who make up the team and make sure that every role is considered and supported. These three elements are best represented as a Venn diagram, where they become three interlocking balls or circles. The point is that each element is dependent upon and affects the others. One early leadership opportunity that I had was leading a small team on an expedition in the jungles of Central America. We can use this story as an example to see how the framework helps to remind a leader of their responsibilities. First, there was the team. In this case, the team comprised of me, six other university students, and one local guide. The task. Our task was relatively simple, at least in theory. We were tasked with finding and mapping a plethora of Mayan archaeological remains that lay hidden in a portion of the dense forests. Then on to the individuals. As we started the work, I was given the chance to get to know the individuals of my team. I consciously spent time walking with different members of the group so I could chat and get to know them more. Even though we were all students of about the same age, we were mixed in terms of gender, nationality and subject speciality. Getting to know them meant I could tailor how I developed, tasked and supported team members based on their confidence and ability. So the three management functions gave a good foundation for leading and developing my team. But in addition, there was a useful mnemonic, also devised by John Adair, that helped to remind me of what I needed to do each day as a leader. I remember these core functions with the help of an acronym, PIXIE. PIXIE stands for Plan, Initiate, Control, Support, Inform and Evaluate. Using this framework, my days would go something like this. Plan. I would get up at dawn and start the fire ready for breakfast. As I did this, I would make a plan. I would decide on the areas we would cover that day and then talk to the local guide about route finding and work out what resources we would need as a team. Initiate. After making the plan and some porridge, I would initiate the task by communicating the plan to the team. We would then make our final preparations and set off. Control. Once underway, I kept control. This was not by being domineering, just making sure that we stayed together on the route and on task. I would also measure our progress against the plan. Support. As we progressed, I would support individuals and the team. If the team was flagging, I would call for a short break. If an individual was struggling, then I would walk beside them and give them some help and encouragement. Inform. We did not have regular contact with the outside world, but I worked hard to maintain internal communications and inform my group. As we came across obstacles, archaeological finds or other points of interest, I would pass the message down the line. Lunch stops also provided a chance for a large sharing of information and any changes to the plan. Evaluate. As I assessed our progress through the day, I had to evaluate the plan against the reality of the environment. Sometimes we might cover a thousand metres in an hour. Sometimes we would barely manage a hundred metres. I'd also have to keep an eye on the energy levels of the team, changes to the weather, or any other factors that might affect the plan. This led to a continual evaluation of that plan and occasional adaptation when necessary. So there you have it. That's a quick summary of the action-centred leadership model and how it can be applied. These simple leadership principles allow me to lead my team effectively on my jungle expedition and years later I still use this model.
So if you have to lead a group, remember to balance the needs of the task, the team, and the individual. As you manage the group, you can use the acronym PIXI as a reminder of the responsibilities that you have as a leader. If you would like to find out more on this subject or about other leadership models and decision-making tools, then click on the link or head over to the website at www.therightquestions.co. And if you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe.